Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for visiting. I wanted to come on tonight and share a order that I placed with Red Lead Rubber Stamps um, that arrived today and I thought I would share the stamps that I ordered and then also share a finished project with you. So I know, I made a finished project. Um, so first of all, uh, in my order came these uh, little, it was like a little gift um, packet. Let's see, where did the... Um, here it is. Um, these things were in this little um, solo envelope. It says, thank you for your order. Free gift just for you, Chris and Sharon. Um, have a cute little red seam binding. Um, so there's an inspiration sheet in here. Um, and also it looks like they're advertising some of their new products. They have a vintage style envelope collection. So that looks fun. And then um, here are some messy stitched pockets. And I think these are available to purchase on their website. I think... Um, Chris and Sharon make those and sell them. And then I thought these um, little tag ideas were cute. So really fun inspiration sheet that was included. And then this is another inspiration sheet as well, where it looks like they're focusing more on like mixed media and they have a new houses art kit, which those are cute. I like those, love those colors together. And then here's a couple more inspiration images um, that they shared. So cute little tag pockets and then some mixed media tags. So really cute. And then in the envelope also was this little sprinkle kit with a button with a bird on it, a little bingo chip, and then some sequins and other random assorted uh, buttons as well. So that was really cute. Maybe like a Valentine's Day um, type of a package. So that was fun. And then all these little enclosures were in there as well. Let yourself fly. Make art every day. I love that. Um, this little library pocket had all of these things in it. Um, like this. So we've got um, a few uh, tags. Remember, like manila envelope tags. Those are really cute. I like the rounded corners on those. Cute. And then this cute little picture of these um, young kids. Isn't that adorable? Happy New Year. Thank you for your order. And then a really nice red tag. This is cute. I like how um, even with it folded up here, it makes like a little pocket. So that's fun. And then this is the library card that has all the stamped images on it. So very, very cute little collection of goodies. And so let's take a look at the uh, stamps that I ordered. Um, I'll just start at the top of the stack here. Um, they're all tied up with these uh, really pretty colors of seam binding, which I'll, of course, will reuse. So I ordered this one here. I don't know what the names of the sets are, but if you um, just search their website, all of their categories are really nicely organized. Um, and they don't have so much inventory that you get lost. Um, so if you go to the birds and garden category, for example, there might be a couple pages of images to, to look through. Um, but I thought this was a really cute little set. I love the, the little bunny and this little bird is adorable. So I like that. And they do the image is images in red rubber and do the cutting for you, which is nice. So that's cute. I think they have this bird larger as well. Um, I was thinking this little set was going to be a smidge bit larger, but um, I love this size, but I do like that bird uh, a bit larger as well, so I might have to add it to my wish list. Um, so then there's this um, set here, and I thought these were adorable little sentiments here in the little vintage style tag. So you can see all of the different birdie type themed, garden type themed images. And I already cut it apart, so it came um, with all of these stamps connected in one piece of rubber. And I just used my uh, red handled scissors to um, cut all of these little stamps apart. And they are on a carrier sheet um, that has quite a bit of stability. It's like uh, laminated cardstock, and so the red rubber cling sticks right on there, which is nice. So love that little way of storing the stamps too. So those two sets will be fun to use. And then I also picked up this set, Let the Skies Be Filled With Birds of Every Kind. I just think this little bird is so cute. I love his little hairdo. <laughs> and she persisted. So there's that stamp. This is about the size I thought that other bird was gonna be. So I might just have to build another wish list. And then I ordered this bird set as well. And I liked this bird set because it had the postmark in it, a postmark in it, and had one of these little um, 
sentiment labels. Isn't that little cutie? So, and I used this one on my project that I'll share with you. And then I also ordered some larger sets as well. I ordered um, this cute girl in her dress. I thought this would be really cute to stamp on some pattern paper and paper piece in her dress. And I just really like her face. Very sweet girl. And she's a good sized stamp. And then I also um, ordered this um, stamp here, and it, I just really like the meaning behind all of these uh, sentiments on here. I kind of like how they're in a big block. I can use it on my backgrounds. I could use it, for example, like on the back of a tag, a background of a tag or a card. And I just liked all the encouragement words. And this is a fairly large, heavy stamp. Really, really beautifully made. So... That will be fun to use. And then I also ordered a couple of larger birds. Um, there's this one. And he's sitting on a rosebush branch and singing. And this reminds me of the little birds that we get here in the springtime that are just out there just singing up a storm calling out to the ladies. <laughs> and then I ordered this bird as well. I thought he was so cute. His little attitude in a tail. <laughs> Adorable. And this uh, is the bird I used on the project that I'll share with you here shortly. And then I also ordered um, three more. I ordered this set, and you know this was inspired by Jill. So thank you so much, Jill. I love that the little set, you can get them in individually, but I like that the set included some sentiments. And I really like this Dear Art Girl Happy Birthday sentiment. And may your, all your dreams come true. I just thought these, these are just really sweet sentiments to include in here. So was happy to get that as a set and then I bought the deer softly through a forest of quiet wilderness I think that she's adorable and it could be colored up like a mama deer or it could be colored up like a fawn you could add some spots to it and make it look like a young fawn which we get here every year and then lastly I ordered this set as well and of course, this was inspired by Jill with the little dragonfly wings um, behind. And then it says she sprinkles a pinch of fairy dust. So fun new stamps added to my collection here. And let me go ahead and share the finished project that I made. Um, so I made a tag and I used my stitched tag from Impression Obsession uh, for my base. And I die cut two of them, one out of this pretty green cardstock and the other one out of some of the text paper from Impression Obsession. And I added a couple of those little postmark stamps from one of the sets. Uh, let's see. This set here. Um, to the tag. And this is cut out of the, um, what is it called? Like vintage letter 6x6 six six pad uh, from Impression Obsession. And I just, honestly, I had it just here in my, in my little collection of um, odds and ends that I haven't used yet. I think this was left over from when I was making the bear uh, the cocoa bear tags <laughs> before Christmas. Um, but I, you can see where I added uh, the postage mark here, and then I added it a little bit here off to this side. Uh, I stamped the bird image on the tag directly, and then I also stamped it on watercolor paper, and I painted it, and then I cut it out and glued that watercolor uh, piece of paper onto the tag, right over where I had previously stamped the tag um, with the, the bird image. So the feet and the branch... Um, are stamped directly on the tag base here. And then what you're seeing as the bird is the uh, piece of watercolor paper. And I don't know that you'll be able to see that where I've added it there. But it's just stuck right down there. But it's much easier to paint on the watercolor paper than it is the tag um, paper itself. So I thought that was a good idea to uh, kind of add lots of color to the birdie. And then, of course, I added a little bird told me uh, one of the little sentiments uh, from this set. Let's see this one here and I just stamped it on watercolor paper and I added just a little bit of the colors that I used in the bird um, to uh, make the color behind the text there just a little bit um, different than just plain white and then I added this cute little crown charm that I have um, on a bulb pin on some seam binding that I dyed so that is my finished project for the night um, using my some of my new stamps here. And um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're inspired. And again, the website for Red Lead is uh, Red Lead Paperworks. Oops. 
uh, redleadpaperworks.com. So, and that is what I have to share with you tonight. So thank you so much for watching. I um, hope you enjoy the week. I'll probably be on again in a day or two uh, to share some other things with you. But, um, and then at the end of the week on the 15th, we have a release with Impression Obsession. So stay tuned for that. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great night and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.